One, two, three, five. I think people think wild records, you've got to go to the big building in Hollywood and the security, you'll have to talk to them and call up to the receptionist who will go to the secretary, who will go to the assistant, who will come to me. And uh, it's enough. I grew up in a very bad, tough neighborhood in North Dublin. And I can absolutely understand why Reb left Ireland. I was only here a year when I started the record label. Here's this little label in LA, they're in this backyard, they do everything themselves, they built it. I record the records, I mix the records, I master the records. Rev Kennedy is the most infuriating, difficult person I've ever dealt with. We record stuff and the musicians think they should sound better, but we can't make you better than you are. That's why there's mistakes in records, they purposely move on that. I hate that. Are you chewing gum, dude? Not no more. Uh. Right. <laughs> Wild Records, known for uh, Mexibilly. Do you get offended by that? People kind of categorize you as just like, just Mexican rock and roll type acts. I do get offended, you know. We're not a Mexican rock and roll label. We're a rock and roll label that has predominantly Mexican musicians. I went to a show one night and the band were a shambles. They couldn't play, it was crazy chaotic, but they were fantastic. The extra says you guys are terrible, but I want to record it because you're so <laughs> terrible that I like it. Let's hear it for lovely Marley Perez and her band, The Rhythm Shakers. Let's hear it. You know, I would love to do this as a living, but it's impossible. I feel like I'm a decent singer, but there's so many people that are so much better. I kind of feel like I would just be lost in the crowd. When I first met Red, I was like 16. Omar is an amazing engineer. We're like an old married couple in here. And I, I would obviously, <laughs> I would be the man in the relationship, of course. <laughs> Giselle, she finds it very hard to devote any time to music. Now you're gonna walk out on stage tonight without a sound check. I keep trying to encourage you. I tell you when you do well. I just don't know what to say. It is a struggle being like a single mom and like not working and making music my only job. Like it's hard. In the last six years, I've been to like nine countries and 14 different trips to Europe. Like who the hell would have ever thought I would have ever been doing any of that? Our record is far more popular in Europe than it is in the United States. We're getting paid to come out there because people want to see us. And then you come back to work and your boss is telling you blah, 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 blah. And you're like, Shit, I was just autographing boobs. Wild Records is very unusual. They're like a family and they're really close. That wouldn't happen without Reb. We have a very personal relationship. I see him more of a dad than my real dad. Yeah, yeah! No nose. Oh. Yeah, yeah! Lewis just got terminated from a job that he's been in for 12 years. He has an addiction that's absolutely out of control. Lewis, you're so drunk you can't even keep your eyes open. You can't drive this car today. I've been cutting my hair 11 years. The morning of my wedding, he destroyed my hair and he was already a barber, so that was 11 years ago. <laughs> the money you'd be loaning me is what would get the shop open. I need that now. I need to make a difference for my boy. I just want Rep to be okay. Individuals that we don't know in their thousands all around the world see themselves as part of my family. And that's crazy. That's a crazy, it's a crazy, crazy thing, you know?